Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about the top 1%. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, what is it that the top 1% of software engineers do that sets them apart from other engineers? They have a uh, genuine interest uh, for their craft and they are consistent they are always experimenting and trying to learn how to do things uh, and how to improve their knowledge of their craft that's what they do so the best of the best uh, that I work with they usually are show themselves very quickly in the interviewing process and then you can see you sort of I've gone gotten to the point now where I feel like I can basically gauge uh, your overall uh, seniority level uh, in an area very quickly by just talking for a few minutes because uh, as I've said before in other videos if you ask a, uh, a mediocre software developer and a super super a superstar software developer the same open question where they have to sort of show their values or the way that they've usually addressed certain problems uh, the level of the depth of the answer will differ enormously I've said, uh, an example says like what's uh, what do you find to be most challenging with software development like that's just an example question but uh, if it's a junior or mid-level or someone like that uh, their thoughts on this topic will be very limited but if you have someone who really knows the subject has a lot of creativity and like a, a lot of uh, uh, usually talent and uh, have done quite a bit of reflection related to this topic they will be able to go on about this topic talk really in depth with it and they're usually hungry to share their ideas with someone else and sort of get some <coughs> rubber ducking going with someone who seems to share the same sort of flair or passion and so forth it's usually I find a treat to listen or take part in a conversation with the top software engineers because they they really are uh, dedicated and like they really do care about what they do to me it's sort of I've, I see that in most people in society which like the people that are extraordinary um, not you know just famous people but I'm talking just extraordinary at what they do uh, it can be for all I for all like you know it can be a social worker or someone who works in like as a volunteer or something like that the people who truly care and really do uh, make an effort in whatever they're doing they usually, and I think that this is the same thing for people who are creative and so forth. Some people are, I'm not saying it's you're born with it or something like that, but I, the people who really are the top at whatever it might be, they usually really care about that subject deeply. And they it's not just something they do because it's a job. It's not something that they just do because it's sort of nice. It's something that they continuously try to experiment with and improve in because they it, it's it's almost like an inherent thing it's an it's something i can't really put into words when i talk to people i mean i feel the same way i can't tell you why the master for example like i can't tell you why when i started doing say css everybody told me it was shit and like it was horrible and so forth and i'm sure it is but i can't tell you what motivated me to say yeah i know but i'm still gonna fucking learn it and i'm gonna get really good at it i can't tell you why you know uh, setting up a uh, why it's important to me that a team has an efficient work process so that we ship in a consistent and well working like a streamlined fashion so why I and why I did uh, spend so much time trying to figure out how to do that effectively or how to write good tests or how to do a b and c and I can't tell you why there are some people in the open source world for example who spend tons and tons and tons of time on maintaining some of like these like it's insane to me that so much of the main tools around the world for our software developers are maintained by just really passionate people who contribute their spare time towards that goal it's similar to as I have said before like you might have people who work all day in a shit job and then they still have the energy afterwards to go and 
help out in a soup kitchen or do something else with their time like because it, they get fulfillment from doing that thing that's what the te top one percent de of developers are doing they ha they get fulfillment from furthering their understanding or their mastership of this craft and these people are usually very very rare that's why I well I assume that that's why we call them the top one percent. But you see them usually when you talk. Uh, you can listen usually if you talk to a software developer and you hear they you ask them about what they usually do or like what they think is cool and so forth and so forth. They will tell you that oh yeah I was I've, I've been really into this thing here so I've made a few side projects where I've experimented with this thing here I've been building or hacking on this thing. They're usually experimenting or trying shit out doing as I've said before guys which is the way that you usually learn small personal projects it doesn't have to be a big system type of thing it just has to be something that you fiddle around with they tinker with stuff in order to figure out how it works these are this is usually how they get to be so good because they take the time to not just learn how to ship code they start picking apart a lot of the different things that they are using in order to ship that code and sort of really examine all right all of these things i'm doing why am i doing those things is there other ways of doing it and what ways are there and uh, is one way better than the other and they start comparing they try things out okay so uh, if you do functional this is how you do it if you do object oriented that's how you do it or you use that tool that's how that works and if you use that tool that's how it works and then you start to see a pattern in that well yeah these different approaches you can use but this one here seems to be a little bit more appropriate you see what i'm trying to go for they're playing around with different solutions to their uh, to their problems and starting to acquire quite a lot of experience with the different approaching to solving problems that's usually how they get so good at what they're doing so what i want you to take away from this is that the top one percent of software engineers have in my opinion uh, at least everyone i've ever talked to they have the same thing in common they have a genuine interest and curiosity for the thing that they're doing and this is true for everybody i think that it doesn't matter if it's a software engineer or an athlete or a or again a volunteer worker or so forth they genuinely care about the thing that they are doing that's number one the thing that the software developers usually do, and uh, I'm assuming this is what scientists do as well, their curiosity turns into experimentation, and they sit and fiddle around and tinker with stuff until they figure out how things work. And they keep on doing that just over and over and over. They learn something and they start fiddling around with it and see, trying it out in small like, controlled experiments, and uh, they play around with it, and they further their and they deepen their understanding of all the things that make up how to build a good system. They acquire experience basically and uh, that's really in my opinion all there is to it and then you can of course argue for like you know inherent aptitude and like you're born with certain predispositions and some people are smarter than others and so forth but this is at the very least the red thread that I see that is consistent uh, across all uh, through all the software developers I've worked with which I would call like the top top notch they all have that trait in common uh, nobody ever got that good without trying out stuff and f playing around with different solutions to a problem because that is what is required for you to get a more in-depth understanding of all the intricacies and nuances to basically software, uh, software engineering uh, it's uh, it's the main difference I would say mediocre software developers usually don't do this they sort of treat most things like software development as just a job uh, and or like they might find it interesting but they don't really experiment or reflect or like do these sorts of things but the top one percent are usually the people who are doing these sorts of things have a great day